this is a concave lens which is thinner in the middle and thicker at the edge and it was told in previous class also if you have seen my previous classes this is a concave lens now today i am going to talk about the images formed by concave lens in previous class i told you that there are certain rules with which light passes through concave lens and there are mainly two rules with which we'll be able to draw the images formed by concave lens look at the first one a ray of light if comes parallel to the principal axis it passes like this like this means it appears to be diverging from focus this is first rule we can define this rule this way a ray of light parallel to the principal axis of concave lens appears to be diverse from focus after refraction look at this it is appear from uh, coming from focus and there is another rule also look at this second one if a ray of light passes through the optical center of concave lens look at this is passing through the optical center of concave lens then it passes straight without deviation and we can say it like this for second rule a ray passing through the optical center emerges without deviation this way we have to remember these two rules to draw ray of light through our concave lens now what we are doing if an object is placed in front of a concave lens like this if an object is placed in front of concave lens then what type of image it forms and where the image forms and what is the nature of the image we are going to draw this and it is not similar to convex lens it is different than convex lens by different practical and different experiments what is seen there are only two conditions i mean to say uh, when object is placed at infinity then the concave lens forms one kind of image one type of image but when it is taken near to the concave lens between any place between infinity to this optical center then it forms another type of image in case of convex lens there were six different types of image but here there here we have only two types of image and we are going to draw these two types of image look at this first condition when object lies at infinity in this condition we cannot draw object because it is at infinity that's why i am drawing a ray of light coming from object parallel to the principal axis because we know that if a ray of light comes parallel to the principal axis it appears to be diverse from focus and only one ray is not sufficient to uh, demonstrate the image or so the image that's why at least we must have two rays coming from the object this is second ray it is also coming from the object which lies at infinity and these two rays are parallel to the principal axis that's why both of them appears to be diverse from focus so look at this the ray comes this way and it diverges this way but it appears to be diverging from the focus this is the rule here also actually light rays comes from this way the parallel to the principal axis and diverges like this but it appears to be coming from this point focus and this way we can draw ray of light now finished the image formed by the concave lens when object lies at infinity is finished but now what where is image what type of nature of image is here uh, now, now i want to tell you about this these two rays of light which were previously coming from object they never intersect with each other in the really refracted direction because they are moving away from each other each other now we in this condition we have to produce these two rays in opposite direction it is already produced and where they meet 
image forms at that place. It means image forms at focus. And that's why we don't have to draw any other mo any other thing. The image is formed at focus. Now, let's talk about the nature of image. What type of image it is? Number one, it is virtual image. Why this is virtual image? Because really refracted rays are not meeting at this place. I mean to say, this image is formed without the real intersection of the refracted ray because refracted ray are going away from each other they never comes back and meet at this point so image appears at this point but actually refracted rays are not reaching up to the image that's why image is virtual now we know that real image is always embodied and virtual image is erect at this time, we are not able to see the image because it is highly diminished, which appears as point-like. But in another case, we will be able to see the erect image also. In this case, image is highly diminished. And there is another point also, where image formed image formed at focus on the same side of the object image formed at focus we can write thirdly at focus at focus image forms image forms at focus these are the nature of image but uh, first second and third are really the nature of image the fourth can be taken as the position of the image okay this is the first one now we are going to draw second also when object lies between infinity and optical center here we have optical center in between any uh, place between this infinity and optical center if object is placed or object lies then what type of image forms okay let's say image is uh, object is at this position object is at this position let's see we can take any position now we have only two rules what i told you just before this one if a ray of light comes parallel to the principal axis we are taking a ray of light coming parallel to the principal axis which, which is coming from the head of the object. This ray of light diverges or appears to be coming from focus. This way we are drawing this way. It passes this way but it appears to be coming from this point that is focus. Now only one ray is not sufficient to form image that's why we have to draw another Im another ray also but we have only two rules that's why another rule we have to use here that is a ray of light passing through the optical center of concave lens passes straight without deviation look at this okay we have to give direction of ray of light also this is the direction this is after refraction. Okay. Here also, two rays of light are moving away from each other. There is no chance of intersection of these two rays of light in the really refracted direction. In this condition, what we are doing, we have to produce these refracted rays in opposite direction. But particularly in this case, it is already produced because this one is produced in, uh, in terms of dot line. This one is produced here also because the same line uh, passes this way also if uh, we, uh, we want to produce in opposite direction. The same line represents the pro uh, produce in opposite direction. Now where they intersect, the, at that point image forms. That's why here image forms. Now I'm going to show you image. This is image. Now, why I am showing with dot line? This is virtual image. Why virtual image? Because this ray of light is virtual ray. This is the real ray of light. But this is 
virtual ray and this one only real ray that's why this image is formed without the real intersection of the refracted rays of light uh, the refracted rays are rays of light are not reaching up to the image that's why this image is virtual since the ray coming from the head is intersected at this point that's why it forms at this place image is erect so if we have to write nature of image we can say that this is virtual it forms virtual image in this condition in this condition and this virtual image is erect erect and look at this it is dimmest i mean to say it is smaller than the object image is what dimmest dimmest and fourth one we can say the place of image also image forms between f focus and optical center of the lens in the same side of the object this way we can draw the ray of light and what i did to, uh, today this is the image formed by concave lens in case of convex lens there are many conditions but in case of concave lens we can consider only two conditions and with the help of the rule we have drawn uh, these two conditions what type of image forms by a concave lens okay this must for today